hello guys welcome back to another video on blessed um today i want to share with you what i call sleep in nigeria and wake up in biafra kind of to biafra as of today i think it's going to be like 62 days to sleep in nigeria and wake up in biafra so it's kind of to biafra and what does it actually mean so i just want to give you a very very short and brief description of what it means for you to sleep in nigeria and wake up in biafra so as you can see this is nigeria this is nigeria everything you are looking at here is nigeria so allow me to show you through this map a small picture of what it looks like of what you are actually aspiring for so here you are looking at the whole of nigeria and you know it's sectioned into colors and what you are looking at here is Igbo land basically Igbo land so everybody here is Igbo people, you know, and uh, this is uh, the Anambra, Enugu, Imo, Abia, Ebony State. You know, that's just the southeast region. It's in green, and you can see it. So this is your dot land. So this is the rest of Nigeria. So here surrounding this place is the uh, south, south. And here you have the southwest, here you have the north central, you have the northeast, and the northwest so you can see this is just the southeast here so when you say you want to sleep in nigeria and wake up in biafra this is what it means that by the grace of god you are going to sleep in lagos and then you wake up and then you are seeing yourself here so all of you everywhere you are you have to come back here and start from here and it's going to be good you know this place you are going to turn into japan of africa and uh, yeah, for some reason because you have not been able to sleep and wake up here you know you are still sleeping in nigeria that's why this place is dusty and rusty and nothing is going on here no development no infrastructure that's why you understand that's why the governors and all the senators and all the lawmakers they are just ineffective they can't do anything you know because they are sleeping in lagos in abuja they are sleeping in lagos they are incapacitated it's a long distance but by the grace of god in 62 days you are going to be sleeping here in nigeria and you will wake up in biafra so i don't know how it's, i hope you are preparing gathering your things putting your things together and getting ready to make the move because you know it's an exodus is going to happen so everywhere you are whether you are in delta whether you are in Edo, whether you are in Bayesa, whether you are here in Ibom, cross river taraba benue nasarawa you know all these people they are not uh, as skillful and intelligent as you you are the most intelligent the most hard working you work very hard you know all these other people they are working on water and working on amala working on salt this one they are drinking kunu what do they know they don't know you are the only one that know everything you know and you work so hard you know you are very enterprising so you know it's gonna happen in 62 days so you're gonna sleep in all of these places and then you will wake up here and God will do it for you, then you will turn this place into the paradise that Africa has never seen before. And believe you me, Africa needs that new paradise because African people have suffered a lot. You know, everybody knows it now. And you know, you people are not even black people again. You know, you say black people, this black people, you people are Jews, you know. So you are going to just come, uh, you know, the people here normally are Igbo people, but you know, they are also sleeping. So you are going to rename them to Biafra people and, uh, you know, impose whatever Biafra, whatever you want to impose on them. And then, you know, the magic will begin to happen. So it's just 62 days time. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to happen. So work harder, uh, put your things together, get ready. Yeah. It's very, very easy. You are going to get Biafra. So maybe, um, you can say, yeah, uh, this dot is in a circle is uh, is bigger than this. Well, it can be bigger than this. So what will happen is they will expand it a little bit, you know, maybe a little bit of the Igbo speaking area in uh, River State. It's possible they can go into all these places and get all of the Igbo, you know, this enclave in Benue, in Kogi, in Edo, you know, uh, in Asaba, you know, just say, uh, you know, broaden broaden it a little bit you know the the circle you know ahead the dot is possible you know but bottom line is 
you will all leave all these places and come back here and show them what magic looks like you know they don't know they have no idea what an edorado is so um god is going to do it that it's just 62 days you are going to sleep in all of these places you sleep in lagos you sleep in abuja and you wake up in biafra i think it's going to be a very beautiful experience and uh, i know that the rest of nigeria will miss you so much you know because you went all of these places and develop it you know uh, you develop everywhere only that uh, uh, because you are sleeping and developing all these places you didn't have the chance to develop here so you know in 62 days you have the chance to move back here and develop it so congrats it's about to happen it's about to happen for you congratulations yeah congratulations your dream is about to come through 62 days uh yeah unfortunately the last year passed and you didn't get it but i know that simon Iqbal will not fail you just like the other saviors did not fail you uh so simon Iqbal will, will deliver in 62 days all these places you are sleeping will come to an end you will just wake up here and life will begin new and you begin to sing kumbaya and hallelujah joy so yeah thank you so much everyone for watching share the video spread the message it's about to go down and you have just 62 days and everything will come into shape. Thank you. Bye for now.